The brightest smile in snowboarding, Aspen's Gretchen Boiler has good reason to beam. As Colorado's most successful snowboard athlete, her personality and character have exposed millions to snowboarding through her modeling in magazines like Glamour. But her talent in the halfpipe makes a much bigger statement. When she was 10, her family moved from Ohio to Aspen and then to nearby Snowbass Village. During the winter, part of the physical education curriculum at her school allowed students to spend half of their Wednesdays up at the resort. On one of those Wednesdays, Blyler learned to snowboard and was immediately hooked. You know, her family moved here at a real opportune time, and I think it was right around when Aspen was starting to get into parks and pipes. The attention and shift and focus was really moving to that park and pipe world, and she became the face of it uh, and, you know, really excelled while we were putting a lot of effort into that area. I mean, not only is Aspen a perfect fit for Gretchen, it's a perfect fit for a lot of athletes. The access to the mountains is incredible. The community is full of, of athletes and athletic minded people. So for her having the support structure of coaches at the Aspen Valley Ski and Snowboard Club, of training facilities in town, and it's such a great home base. Um, not yet, yeah, not just for her, but for a lot of athletes. Four years later, Gretchen joined the Aspen Valley Ski and Snowboard Club and began competing in local USASA competitions. Her first year on the team, she qualified for nationals in every event. Following graduation from Aspen High School in 1999, Blyler chose to defer a year from college to see how far she could take her snowboarding. I think what made Gretchen one of the best snowboarders in the world was really just her dedication to the sport. I never saw her take a day off. She was always working super hard, whether it was in the gym or on snow. Um, she really just approached the sport with a level of dedication that I haven't seen many women's professional snowboarders approach it with. Gretchen had her own style and she built her skills that accentuated that style. When she learned the key moves that she needed to win, she did them in her own way with her own cadence and she delivered them in a way that nobody else could do that. Due to her successful results that year, she was invited to join U.S. snowboarding and follow her dreams of qualifying for the Olympic Winter Games. She had aspired to be an Olympian since her childhood, loving the challenge and pressure to perform at your peak. At the age of 18, she was invited to compete in the X Games. Four years later, she was on top of the world, winning the first of four X Games gold medals along with the World Superpipe Championships gold and her second Vans Triple Crown title. She experienced the highs and lows of the Olympic process, handling disappointment at missing the 2002 Salt Lake Games on a tiebreaker before dominating the qualifying for the 2006 Olympics, winning four of the five selection events and going on to claim Olympic silver in Torino. The trick that Gretchen's known for is actually called a crippler. It's basically a backflip in the half pipe. The reason that she's known for it is because it was kind of her signature trick that she did in every contest run. And she was also the first woman snowboarder to ever do it in a contest. I mean, that was her trick. She patented it, she ran it out there. Every competition, you knew it was coming and she won by it. Um, and that was what she progressed women's snowboarding with. Following her Olympic success, Gretchen used the platform to speak about her first-hand experiences with climate change around the world, as well as build a base as an athlete entrepreneur working with brands to design innovative, environmentally-minded signature products. Gretchen also gave back to the sport by coaching young rippers at high cascade snowboard camps while creating her own competition, the All Women's Snow Angels Invitational in Aspen. At another peak of her career in 2012, Gretchen suffered what most would have considered a career-ending injury. Shattering her eye socket and suffering a severe concussion and broken nose, she experienced double vision for six months, but overcame the obstacles, going on to nearly make her third Olympic team. Since retiring as an athlete in 2014, Blyler has taken a holistic approach to her entrepreneurial, advocacy, and human potential pursuits. She continues to lend her voice to empowering and activating the winter and outdoor sports communities in creating the political will for meaningful action around climate change. She has testified before Congress, spoken at the COP21 in Paris, and participated in a White House roundtable on the impacts of climate and sport. I absolutely believe that Gretchen lives every day trying to make the world a better place. From her work with Protect Our Winters, which is just advocating for um, taking better care of our planet, living sustainably, that was something that inspired me to start working with Protect Our Winter. Her company, Alex Supply, which stands for Always Live Extraordinarily, is focused on a mission to make living sustainably simple, designing reusable products and services that empower life sustainability and pursuing one's dreams. 
She has also used her successful athletic career and personal philosophy of life to craft an impactful career as a public speaker and meditation teacher. Gretchen was a pioneer in women's snowboarding. She fought in every competition she was in. She invented new tricks. She was always one of the people to beat in any event. And she really helped push the sport forward. And not just for women, men and women. I don't think there's very many athletes, men or women out there that had the same amount of impact on a sport as she did. Through her entire career as one of the world's greatest snowboarders, Gretchen Blyler has represented the face of Colorado and her home of Aspen, earning numerous accolades within her sport and the action sports world. It is our pleasure to welcome Gretchen Blyler to the Colorado Snow Sports Hall of Fame this evening as an honored member of the class of 2019.